John, uh, commiserations. Harry is again getting to the uh, playoff stages and unfortunately not finding a way through against a, a very hard working Bradford side. Yeah, obviously uh, everyone's really disappointed. Uh, we certainly didn't want to finish the season like that, but um, you know, fair play to them. You know, they, they came and played really well. And uh, good luck to them, and hopefully they'll they'll clinch promotion. Harriers didn't start as quickly as we thought, John, and, they, they, and perhaps conceding that early goal did it unsettle the players. Yeah, I think we started um, quite nervously, really. Um, you know, uh, we certainly didn't get uh, our passing game going, and I mean that will be down to Bradford as well. But you know, we certainly started nervously, and um, you know, we grew into the game. We had some good chances there uh, near the fir uh, end of the first half, and, and also in the second half. So. Um, you know, we're disappointed we didn't take them chances, but as I say, full credit to Bradford, they did a great job. Created a lot of chances. The goalkeeper, you know, at times just, just getting anything behind it, but he certainly did a job for the visitors. Yeah, definitely, and I think, you know, we've said that throughout the season, you know, in, in tight tight games, tough games, we need people to stand up and be clinical. You know, we can't keep uh, creating 28, I think 28, 29 shots today we had, so we can't keep doing that during games, you know, we, we need to take chances and um, we didn't take them. They took theirs and... and Obviously, they have won. John, from a manager's point of view, twice into the playoffs, you, you've seen you've, you've built basically two sides now, and you know to get through to the playoffs. How disappointing is it for you as a manager? Uh, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, it's, it's I'm not disappointed. I'm very proud. You know, I'm very proud of the group. I'm very proud of the way we play football. You know, the way we play is fantastic, and I'm disappointed for the lads really. You know, because they put so much hard uh, hard work into it every day in training to play a certain way. And um, you know, in these big, big games, I'm just, I'm just disappointed they don't really go out and really fully believe in themselves. You know, you could see there was three or four, you know, nervous tonight, and um, you know, and, and that's part of having a young group. And um, hopefully they'll come back stronger. It's important the club keep keep as many of the players they can going into next year because they certainly don't want a, a situation which we had last summer with you know three starters from the playoffs coming back in pre-season. So hopefully the club can keep as many players here as possible. And, uh, and really have a good push next year. You've worked hard though, haven't you, over the last month or so, signed a lot of players back on contract to bring them back to the club for next season. Yeah, definitely, but you know, I know there's going to be three or four league clubs, um, well, lots of league clubs, they're all here tonight watching them all, and, and you know, I'm sure they'll be getting moves, and you know, hopefully the club can, as I say, hold on to them, but um, you know, we're, we're not going to stop the young players from going as well, that's why they, they come here, that's why they entertain the fans, especially at home, you know, they've been terrific, and over the two seasons, you know, I can't ask for any more from them. Um, you know, as I say, I'm very proud of the, the group, the efforts, and um, you know, I, you know, I couldn't be any more pleased with them. And you, as a manager, John, you're learning more about it. You know, only your second season as manager. It's not a bad CV to have, is it? Taking sides to the playoffs. No, definitely not. But you know, as I say, it's not about me. I, I'm, I'm really not interested in that. All I'm interested in is, is the players. And as I say, I'm really disappointed for them really tonight. Not not myself, uh, and also the fans because they, you know they they travel home and away. You know they're fantastic fans, and um, you know I think we have entertained them over the last two years. Um, but it's also nice to, you know, when you're in them uh, positions of getting promotion, it's you know it's good that we. You know, we we do it, and we haven't done that over the last two seasons. So that's something that the, the club and, and myself have got to really put into to next season. And um, you know, as I say, if we can keep the group together, then we you know we'll, we'll be in a lot stronger position than we were at the start of this season. So uh, fingers crossed. Two thousand over two thousand two hundred in, in tonight for the Bradford Park game. A lot of them staying behind to to applaud the the efforts of the team throughout the course of the season. And that must be extremely pleasing. Of course, yeah, and uh, you know I've said from day one it's it's important. And if the club are going to grow, they've got to grow together. And uh, the players and the fans, you know, everyone involved in the club, the staff, you know, everyone, it's important everyone's on the same page. Um, you know, I've got to say also a, a great thank you to the groundsman, AD. The, the, the state of the pitch all season has been fantastic, and that's a massive uh, plus for us. And you can see we try and play football on the pitch, and it certainly does help when we've got such a superb uh, surface. So thanks very much, AD.